Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing the final bets for UFC Vegas 92, Laurel Murphy versus Edson Barboza. Now, I did uh, an early bet video just a couple days ago, I think. Shit, it could have been Sunday or Monday, I'm not really for sure. I mean, it may have actually went on on Monday, but uh, the, not all of the bets were available so that's why it was an early betting one this one all of them should be ready no nothing that i won't be able to do so here we are so last time we talked about chaos williams over five nine minute fight time and i do think that fight goes a little bit longer than people are expecting because chaos williams hasn't had a finish in a long time and carlson harris unless you're crazy explosive and a at least decent striker I don't think KS Williams is that great of a striker. I think he has some power. He is he is fast, but nine minute fight time, I think that it, that will hit. That's higher, I think. Tom Nolan, twenty seven and a half significant strikes. I think over. Um, Mag Abu Magomedov, thirty one and a half significant strikes. It, that that one does worry me a little bit, just because Alves um, uh, isn't very very good anymore. He has one win, his last five wins. So. That one's a little risky just because that first round is going to be good. But Abu has a lot of output in that first round. So 31, 32 strikes, significant, significant strikes, I do like. Pierre Rodriguez, 49 and a half significant strikes. I don't think this fight goes uh, gets a finish. Um, 50 significant strikes, I don't think it's anything crazy to ask for. So I do like that. And then Demba Gabrino, uh, one and a half takedowns, two takedowns. That's not a bad, I don't think. I think he definitely could get you know some trips, even if um, um, Braha gets right back up. Two takedowns is nothing, so I, I do like that. But those are a little bit safer ones, I personally think. So let's, since all of these are now out, let's look at it real quick. Okay, so Vanessa Demopoulos, is she going to get a finish over Emily Dakota? I don't think so. I don't think she gets a knockout. I don't think she gets a submission. So I don't think there's a submission. So I don't think there's a play there for Demopolis. Emily Dakota, there's quite a bit of picks here. So does this fight go to decision? Probably. Um, 82 and a half significant strikes. That's a lot of significant strikes. Um, to me, the best bet here is just the over on uh, 14 minutes and 99 seconds of fight time. It's at 0. 0.6 five right now if you find a better bet because you have to on underdog fantasy you have to have five picks um so if you find a better one and you that's higher than 0.65 take this one out and put another one in so we'll see at the end <clears throat> um alatang hey lee versus gladson rodriguez a uh, submission or just a finish is two and a half yeah i mean that's that's a little bit of a risky one because rodriguez is defensively okay but he has had some uh, gas issues some cardio issues so there is that um yeah in, you know in glades and rodriguez does this fight go the distance you could do lower than 14.99 it does not go the distance which is probably correct it's probably correct so the alatang haley one finish is a little bit of a risky one but it's not necessarily out of the question. But I think lower than than a, a fourteen ninety nine fight time for Rodriguez. I think lower on that one for sure. That's a good bet there. And then <clears throat> let's see. Oh, two take down, two and a half takedowns for Rodriguez. Three takedowns. That's not a bad one. Now higher and lower, you're not going to get crazy odds. You're not going to get any multipliers. Does this fight go to decision? Personally, I think the fight does go to the decision. But where you get the good, the best play is lower one and a half, and you know that's pretty good. But continue to look. Uh, I think Melissa Gatto actually beats Vidal. I think one and a half takedowns. I think is criminal. But again, there's no multiplier on that one, so you have to be a little, little worrisome on that. Um, Let's see. Does she get a finish over Vidal? Could she get a submission? Not bad. Uh, let's continue to look. Um, um, Abu by knockout, I think, is is a is a great pick, but there's no multiplier on that. 
finish is 0. 0.8. So, you know, uh, Victor Martinez, I don't think, wins that fight. Tom Nolan by a, a higher than one round. I think Tom Nolan actually gets a uh, gets a finish, which is 0. 0.7. It's the same as it is for a knockout. Um, 27 and a half significant strikes. We had that last time. I think he gets a finish, which is, again, 0. 0.7. Um, Angela Hill. Uh, um, does this fight go a decision? I personally think it does. Um, the, the the play here is is by a finish. Under 14.99, under you know 15 minutes, is 0. 0.65. If you think it goes higher, if you think it goes decision, which probably does. The best play, especially with underdog fantasy, you can do a flex. Take the shot on a finish at 3.75 multiplier. I mean, that is some crazy odds. And again, on uh, underdog, if you don't know, if you do five, you do flex. If you get, uh, if you put three in, you get two right, you get paid. If you put five in, you get four right, you get paid. It's it's pretty freaking awesome, you know, on, on that aspect. <clears throat> and then you actually have Vin Vincent Salvador at the media day yesterday talking about how he's going to get a first round knockout. That seems crazy to me, but sh I guess, sure. Um, Adrian Yanez by finish is 0. 0.9. Not much of a bet there, really. It's not terrible if you have to do it, do it, but it's not great. Um, Ramiz by finish, uh, by knockouts, 6. Which is a little crazy, but the best play here for me is by finish. A, a lot of people are picking Themba to win this, and maybe he does. Uh, one and a half takedown is the easy, the easy bet for me personally. But I don't think Garimbo. I know uh, Braha, whatever Braha, it has been out for a little while. <sighs> it does worry me a little bit. The submission is three point two five, so. That's not bad at all. Uh, Carlson Harris, um, I actually think he gets he gets a win. Um, oh boy, does he get a finish? No one's been able to finish Chaos Williams, so I don't think so. Uh, Chaos Williams by knockouts one point two five. Surprised it's not a little bit higher to be honest. And then Edson Barboza versus Laurel Murphy. If Edson's gonna win, it's gonna be by finish. That's the reality, I believe. I don't think he wins a just all-out five-round decision with, with Lerone, who I suspect is going to come out guns a-blazing early. Um, <clears throat> there's actually more picks here for uh, Lerone Murphy. I don't think 80 and a half significant strikes. Two takedowns, sure. I don't think he's going to be able to hold Edson down. I'd be very surprised on that. By knockout, is 2.25. I don't think he gets a submission. I think that'd be crazy. And there's actually uh, no knockout multiplier here for Edson Barboza. Seems a little bit strange, to be honest. Um, but uh, KS Williams by finish at 1.2 is not a bad play at all. Not at all. But again, obviously, it's 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 worrisome. By knockout is 1.25. Nothing crazy there. On these odds on underdog, the 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 play here is KS Williams by knockout. I don't think KS Williams gets a knockout, so that's not a good bet for me personally. Edson Barboza doesn't have freaking a knockout multiplier. Ten or uh, submission is ten and a half times, which seems a little nuts. I don't think he submits uh, Lerone Murphy. That'd be kind of crazy. But we know two takedowns for Lerone, possible for sure, possible. Um, I think if he wins, that's by knockout. Again, I don't think he wins this, but I mean that's not a bad, not a bad play, you know. Really, you could do lower than twenty-four minute fight time, which is four rounds. Be wait, because it's twenty-five minutes. So okay, so it's almost to a decision. I think that fight go go gets a there's a finish. So lower, uh, Chaos Williams. Let's see. KS Williams lower than nine minute fight time. I actually think. Um, finish by Chaos lower. Uh, let's see. 
Let's do lower Carlson Harris because I think Carlson Harris wins. So if you do standard five, you have to get all five correct, which is 42.65 multiplier. Or you could do the flex, which lowers it a little bit because, you know, if you get four correct, it's 8.2. If it's five, you still get all five correct, it's 21.32. If you put uh, 10, you can win 82 bucks if you get four right. If you get five right, even on the flex, 2.13. That, that's that's not bad obviously so then you go over to Fandle which everything should be ready um, should be on there I would hope so it's been you know days at this point so um, I didn't leave a freaking <clears throat> yep then you go over to Fandle once it loads Maybe. 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 Here we go. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Prelims. De, de, Vanessa Demopoulos versus Emily Dakota. Demopoulos is a plus 265 underdog. Will the fight go the distance? I believe so. Total rounds over under. Over is 450. Minus 450. Yeah, that, that, that seems a little crazy. Double chance here. I think, uh, let's see. Well, there's no play for Emily Dakota by TKO or on points or submission on points. By finish is plus 450. I don't think Dakota gets a finish. I think she wins by a decision. But you're not really going to make you know, a whole lot of, a whole lot of money. I, 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 you know, yeah, that one's a little bit strange, a little bit weird. Emily decoded by points is minus 175. That's the play. Minus 175 is going to be the best odds you're going to find unless you think she can get a finish or unless you think Vanessa Dumopoulos is going to win that. So I'm going to put that one with another one. I'm going to parlay them. Let's do, oh yeah, and Alatang Haley versus Clitson Rodriguez. Uh, Haley is a plus 126 with a fight go to the distance. Actually, they say yes at minus 190. I don't think so. Total over 2.5 is minus 210. Under 2.5 is plus 162, which, fair. Um, let's see, double chance. Alatang Haley by KO or submission is plus 350. By KO or on points is plus 135. Submission or on points is plus 240. So they actually see it as K, uh, either decision or bet. Let's see how the fight method of victory. No. Yeah. They see Clayton Rodriguez plus 125 on points. So I guess they think. Uh, will the fight make the second round? Let's see. So. Will the fight go the distance? Yes. How the fight will end. So they think this fight goes to a decision. So if you think the fight goes to a decision, you have the overs minus 210. Under 2.5 is plus 162. Let's. Let's smack that under. Let's go with that under. Um, crap, I accidentally clicked the wrong freaking one. All right. And then Pierre Rodriguez versus uh, uh, Arlene Car Uh, da, 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 da. Method of victory, no. Okay, so they think Pierre Rodriguez by points. That's not bad. Over, under, over is two and a half, minus 260. Under two and a half is plus one ninety. They think the fight goes to a decision. Odds wise, they, that's what they think. Um, so the the play here, unless you think Pierre Rodriguez can get a finish, is submission or on points, which is a minus one thirty five. That's it. So three leg parlay plus six sixteen. I think is a pretty damn good bet. There you put six. You put ten dollars. You won 61 67. Not bad at all. And then you can keep going, of course. So, the last thing that I want to look at is 
um, Abu Magomedov uh, to win by KO or TKO in the first or second round is a plus 155 total rounds over one and a half. Let's see. Abu Magomedov to win by KO in the second or third is plus 480. I'm, gonna, I'm a little bit of a riskier one, but I do like that. Maybe he takes his time a little bit, looks for the shot a little bit better than he typically does. Tom Nolan versus Victor Martinez. Uh, Tom Nolan. Da, 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 da. Tom Nolan by a second or third round finish plus 290. Takes his time a little bit coming off that knockout loss to Nicholas Moda. Maybe he doesn't go right at him early maybe he tries to feel it out a little bit plus 290 i think he's just too damn good to at least take a chance on um and then go to main card that uh, adrian yanez versus uh, vincius salvador salvador thinks there's a first round finish i think that's a little crazy to be honest yeah because like vincius salvador to win by ko or tko in the first or second rounds a plus 800 I guess maybe, you know, this means it's not going to happen, but sure, they suspect a knockout. So, um, liberal champ, see, no, 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 by finishes minus 140. So, Adrian, Adrian Yanez, second or third rounds of plus 280, two, two good odds to not take. Um, and then Adrian Yama, Garimbo. Chaos Williams, uh, and of course the, the 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 bet here is Chaos Williams, you know, Carlson Harris within the first, I mean a second or third round TKO, plus thirteen hundred, that seems crazy to me. I don't necessarily see him getting a finish over Chaos, but his striking is weird. He's he overcommits a lot, and all these things. But again, uh, method and round. Round one TKO or KO. I don't see a third round finish. Uh, and this is why I like double chance or uh, rounds. I mean, TKO or, you know, KO round combos. Let's go KS Williams second or third round. I see. Mm. Double chance, Carlson Harris. I like a KO, TKO, or on points for, for Carlson Harris, plus 195. I think that, that is some good-ass odds. And then we got Laurel Murphy, which um, uh, the, the Edson Barboza, plus 118 underdog. Sure, I guess. Over is minus 160. Uh, I don't want round betting because that's, no. Will the fight go the distance at minus 106? Yes, I don't think the fight goes the distance. <clears throat> um, it's in Barboza to win by knockout. One, two, or three is a plus 380. Uh, it's in to win by the KO in the rounds of three, four, or five. That's saying Lorone's going to start quickly. Not bad at all. Uh, to win uh, by TKO or KO in rounds three or four. Lorone Murphy and to win by knockout four or five. Let's see what Lorone is. One, two, or three. Plus 500. Same for Edson Barboza. Well, Edson's, I guess, is plus 380, but this one's a little bit more difficult, for sure. Over three and a half rounds. Goodness. Under plus 126. Ooh, boy. Edson by finish is plus 210. Laurent by finish is plus 270. Uh, I'm going to go Edson Barboza by submission or on points. A double chance at plus 370. That is crazy. I think if Edson wins, it is by fin by a decision. He could finish him. But I, I, if he couldn't finish Sadiq and he had him all done, I don't necessarily think he beats Murphy if he beats him. I think if Murphy wins, it's within the first you know, three rounds, Murphy finishes him. Uh, one, two, or three plus five hundred. If you think Laurel Murphy wins by knockout, which it, it'd be a knockout or a decision. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, plus 370, submission or on points. Now, these are a little bit more risky ones. Some crazy odds. Abu to win by knockout rounds 2 or 3 plus 480. Nolan to win by KO TKO rounds 2 or 3 plus 290. Giannis to win by knockout in rounds 2 or 3 by 280. Uh, Carlson Harris to win by knockout or on points is plus 195. Edson by submission or on points. It's just caveating the submission. Uh, but I think he wins by points. The odds are too good plus 370. A lot of odds there. Plus, what is that? 11 uh, 119 077 119,000 some crazy odds but it's a big ones double chance it you know you could also i guess the last thing we will do uh prelims demopolis dakota will the fight da, 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 da. no 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 total rounds plus 450 i don't like those odds those, those seem crazy high to me to be honest but I guess it is what it is there. Let's see. Uh, over. If you think it's over, you might as well go with a little bit lesser odds at minus 360 there. And then you go Alatong Haley. Uh, over, under. Uh, will the fight go the distance? At, mm. If you think over, you might as well go with the better odds at minus 190. <sighs> mm. I'm going to go under two and a half rounds. I don't think that fight goes the distance. Uh, Pierre Rodriguez versus uh, uh, Carnalosi will go over. Mm, will the fight go the distance at minus that? I think the fight does go the distance. Uh, Abu versus Worthy Alves. This fight absolutely does not go the distance. Over one and a half. Yeah. No. No. Minus 140s under one and a half. I guess there you're kind of waiting for a late, this late finish or whatever, but uh, boom, uh, Gato Vidal, total rounds, uh, minus 158 over two and a half. This fight goes a distance. I think the fight does go the distance. I do. I do, I do, I do. Then you could do uh, Martinez, Nolan, absolutely does not go the distance. Under a one and a half. Yeah, I don't think that. Minus 600. Holy moly uh over one and a half is is plus money nolan's a cool five to one favorite that seems crazy to me that seems nuts a uh, decision no bet double chance no bet of victory oh man okay time will the fight start the second round Will the fight start the uh, third round? No. Fight the second round? Yes. Uh, I'm going to say yes. It starts. To, it goes to the second round. That's a little bit of a trickier one. For sure. But those are some odds. Some pretty damn good ones. Some risky ones in there for sure. But uh, the Abu... Let's see. The Abu... Da, 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 yeah. The Abu fight, I don't think goes the distance. No. Um, da, 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 my, Tom, Mar, uh, Tom Nolan, um, I don't know if this fight goes the distance. No. Uh, let's see. Any other one just in case? No, 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 no. Does Pinheiro and Angela Hill go the distance? Yes. Total rounds? Yes. Absolutely, that fight goes the distance. There is not going to be a finish. Yanez Salvador, where that fight goes the distance? Uh, no. Absolutely not. Um. Oh, da, 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 da. Edson Barboza versus Lorone Murphy. Does that fight go the distance? Ooh. Yeah, four leg parlay. A boo. Alves, Martinez, Nolan, Pinheiro, Hill, Giannis, Salvador, my locks. No, yes, the fate goes the distance. No, no. At plus 169. Now you're going to put a little bit more money on that. 10 gets you about 17 bucks, but those are the ones I like the most. But as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Sorry for the longer video. Hopefully, hopefully you're doing well. Peace.